Their first year at the helm. Ionescu, the Hezzy, the up, under, and off. Jones kept it alive. Look out. Jones and Thomas tied up. Thomas goes down. Four on four the other way, and the layup good. Thomas in pain. Seemingly a lot of it. Connecticut needs to take a foul here. They need to take a foul. The refs don't stop playing when your team doesn't have the ball. Instead, Jones, they won't count the bucket. I don't believe. I think they're going to call the foul on the floor before the basket. Otherwise, it would have been an and one. And Thomas. And the thing you always worry about with Alyssa Thomas, her arms were, were entangled with John Cole Jones, is something with her shoulders, of course. John Quill Jones and Alyssa Thomas get tied up here. And it looks like it's at the end of this where Thomas finds herself in pain. And Thomas still down right now. Jones and Thomas, teammates for so many years with the Connecticut Sun, went to two finals together. I mean, this game has been astonishingly physical. I mean, you could see. Thomas pushed the face of John Quill Jones. That almost looked like grabbing the hair, and then Jones give it back to her with the left hand afterwards. But then also landed on her yeah. as she was undercut. She never leaves the floor. Ever. Mm. So Thomas being held back to the locker room. Not complaining of arm injury, but it looks like something with her midsection or back. I saw her tell her teammate she is okay as she stretches herself out. We should see her return to the court momentarily. All right, thanks a lot, Hal. And it looks like she's going to come back in right now. Outscoring New York 4-0 since the injury to Thomas. Jones at the line here. Misses. It'd be hard to find a tougher player in this league than Alyssa Thomas, so no surprise she's back.